I'm going to start off with my MAC Fix Plus as always and I just use that to hydrate the face because I've been, it's been dry. I washed my face earlier, my face dry, my face dry, my face is dry. So I just want to moisten it back up and then I'm going to take my Studio Moisture Cream, my MAC Studio Moisture Cream to hydrate and moisturize. You always want to do this step. Um, you don't have to do the Fix Plus if you don't want to. Definitely wash your face, do your skincare, whatever you do, and then moisturize next. Don't skip moisturizer when you're doing your makeup because that is the foundation of how your makeup is going to look. Next up is my Glow Recipe Dew Drops. And I use this when I want to be extra glowy. So if I didn't want like that glowy hydrated look, then I would skip this step. But we're gonna we're gonna go for extra today, so must be extra. And I really love the way that this feels on my skin anyway. Like I should probably just use it, period. And then I'll go with my primer. This is my YSL primer. This is called the YSL Touche, right? The YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. And I already told y'all, I love this primer. Absolutely love this primer. Like I said, every time I wear it, like it absorbs all of the sweat in my face and it also blurs the crap out of my pores and I just love that I feel really really hydrated when I wear this also so now we're all hydrated and since we're going crazy on the eyes we're gonna start with the eyes first I just picked me up a new brow pencil this is precisely my brow and I'm using the shade 5 black brown and this is from Benefit this is the pencil I've always used, but then I found Kosas and I couldn't stop using Kosas, but um, I didn't have time to go to Sephora, so I just went to Ulta. They only have Kosas at Ulta, I mean at Sephora, I believe. Now that, now that I'm using this pencil again, I like Kosas pencils better because this one has a lot of slip and Kosas pencils have grip to them. So usually after I do my moisturizer and my primer and all of that, um, I do my brows and you know, I have all of these serums and stuff on my face. So I would expect my brows to slip around a bit, right? But with the closest pencil, it, it doesn't. This one, I feel like I can just wipe this off my finger, like quickly. I don't know how this brow is heading, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my um, so I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Butterscotch just to clean this one up to see what it's looking like.
All right, to clean up the top, I'm going to use, which I never show you guys, but I do clean up the top of my brow. And this is the Lancome Tint E Doll Ultra Wear. And this is the shade 500. And every time you see me with this mirror in my hand, this is a magnifying mirror. And I wouldn't suggest you learn or do your makeup in a magnifying mirror. Like, this is a total addiction. I cannot do my, my makeup in a regular mirror anymore. I mean, ever since I started doing makeup, I started doing it in a magnifying mirror. And that's the only way I want to do my makeup. Like, if I do it in a regular mirror, I don't trust that my makeup looks cute at all. I need precision. Born This Way Concealer to prime my eyelids. This is the shade Golden Beige. Y'all, so I was lost to see, I was lost on what kind of look I wanted to do, but I got this little situation going on and I like it. So I'm going to show you what I did. I grabbed the coffee palette by Juvia's Place and I took this brown right here and I put it in my crease. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my concealer brush and the same color we used to prime the lid. I'm going to use that just to add that color back on the lid. And I'm going to like basically like soft cut the crease with it. So I'm going to put it right up to where the eye folds at and right into the middle. Whatever brush you used to um, set that eyelid with before, you can use that. Just to make sure it's not wet. I'm gonna take the same wrong shadow, just like go over it a little bit, go over the edges. And then I'm going to take this eyeshadow right here for the lid color. I'm just gonna pat this on until I'm satisfied with the color. 
and I'm gonna go back and forth with this color and that brown one that we did just to blend everything out smoothly. We'll see. Um, and then after this, I'm going to just use this like pointed brush just to make sure I get this part clean. And I'm going to take, I'm going to go in with my Patrick Ta Holiday palette and I'm going to take the pink color. this color to put it right in the inner corner. Perfect. Now I'm not gonna go all the way in, I'm just gonna go a little bit in the inner corner and then I'm gonna use this glitter right here that I got from J. LaRue. I don't know if they still have this glitter anymore, but I'm also gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter adhesive to apply the glue, the glitter. I'm just gonna put this right on top. So now this is what we're looking like. I'm gonna take, just wanna deepen up the corners just a little bit. I feel like I should be taking a purple, but Valentine's Day is not purple, Jessica. So I'm just gonna grab this brown right here, just to deepen up the corner a little bit. I'm gonna use my NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. My Born This Way concealer in the shade Golden Beige to highlight. Per usual, especially for a look like this, 
this is my full coverage concealer I love using it. oh my god look what I just did rare beauty concealer in the shade 520 W to contour or bronze whatever with The beauty blue that soaks up the product. This thing literally just took all my concealer off my face. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it literally just snatched everything I worked for. Alright, so boom, my camera died. Of course, it did. I just set my face with some one size powder and basically that's it i'm gonna use my bronzer this is my um studio fix powder plus foundation and the shade is nw50 and i'm just gonna use that to warm up the perimeter and i'm also gonna use this as a nose contour Nose contour really quickly. I don't want my camera to die. I'm gonna do for blush Juvia's Place, um, volume four. I'm just gonna mix both shades. These days I try to put more of the blush back here and then whatever left over it at the tips I mean the the balls of my cheek and also the nose and I like to do the top of the forehead and the chin just to tie it in you don't want to put like a lot to leave color but um, when you even put a little bit it makes the face look unison Jacqueline cosmetics for my to dust away my bake Big ass brush. All right, so for under the eye, I was like, should I use a pink? Because a pink would eat with this look. But then I was like, I want to keep it growing sexy, and why would I put a pink? But why wouldn't I not put a pink? So I'm just gonna grab. I want to grab. I don't want it to be like crazy. I look like a, I look like a pink, pink. Myself in MMM Mitchell palette from. Damn, I can't even remember. What was it called? Be Perfect Cosmetics. And these, these, the two pinks right here, I'm just gonna grab those two. I'm gonna mix them together. SKKN by Kim, nude 15. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Tokyo. 
Boost the Girl Lip Gloss by MAC. 